Hey everyone, this is me, I read back on another new video, and today, after a long, long while, I am finally back with a newer fix to the mouse lag issue. Now, note that this fix will only work for people who have the actual input delay problem, but if you're having other problems like you know, mouse blinking or teleporting or stuff. I think those are just normal Roblox bugs which will go away at any point. So, to actually, like, you know, make the first fix work, you need to download a software and a .exe file which is actually known as a Roblox Unlocker. So, what this actually does is, you know, it uncaps your FPS. So, um, I have it over here, actually. So, you need to download this Roblox FPS Unlocker. A YouTuber named Sharkblocks actually has a really good detailed video into it. I'll leave his video in the description as well. It will actually pop up somewhere over here. For example, you can see if you right click on, you know, this thing, which is the Roblox FPS Unlocker, you can actually see that you have these FPS caps and stuff. So, to actually make today's, you know, video work, we actually need to set you know we need to set our FPS cap to 30, but um let's just head over to Roblox and give you know give a game a test run so um i just logged in arsenal and you can see that i have the input delay you know of course it's pretty obvious to like you know understand that i have the delay uh nothing works so if i press alt enter nothing helps as well if i even press f11 nothing helps in that way as well so how do we fix this issue so today we'll actually be talking about how we can actually fix this issue so head over to this fps unlocker fps cap and set your cap to 30. now you need to open up your mouse's software so i use a logitech g102 and the software for this is the logitech g hub so what you want to do is you basically need to like um you know reduce your polling rate by 125 hertz all right guys so um um my computer died for a second but okay we're back so the fps cap you need to set this to 30 now you actually need to set down your polling rate by a lot okay and to do this first and foremost you need to actually get into your you know your software so for me i'm using the logitech um the g hub but all you intend to do is basically just reduce your bounce polling rate so what happens in you know g hub is you can actually set multiple profiles for different games so for me you know this is the roblox one and this one yes now when i when you go over here you can actually see that i my dpi is set to 800 and you know the mouse like the report rate is set to 125 so usually this is actually set to 1000 but you need to set it all the way to 125 now this might differ depending on which software you use but all you need to do is all you intend to do is just basically reduce the polling rate of your mouse for roblox and if your software isn't compatible to just make you know separate um separate profiles for separate games then you just need to reduce the polling rate you know on default or on general or whatever so 125 polling rate for roblox and we have an a 30 fps cap over here you know 30 fps cap now let's actually go and start roblox again remember that we have 125 hertz and 30 fps cap so let's see whether this works or not let's just jump into the game and you can see that the problem has pretty much arised by a lot like you know um i don't think it has fully gone away i think it has like you know the delay you know it reduced by a lot let's just hop into another Let game however you can actually see at the top right that the fps is set to 30 you cannot get more than 30 fps if you follow this method but still no input delay which is a lot okay um i'm getting extremely bad thing right now but you guys can see that this basically works so now if you actually like you know do something um uh for example if i just you know uncap the fps right now for example the fps if i set it to none you can see that the you know the lag comes back see the lag comes back so a combination of 30 fps and a really low mouse hertz will basically you know eradicate this issue all right guys so for the second uh, for the second, you know, for the second fix, it's basically the client settings fix, but, you know, this is an updated version of the client settings fix. So, let's, let's just get straight into it. So, before we actually get into it, if you guys have actually followed my client settings, you know, I made an update video where you guys needed to make a folder named the, you know, named the client settings folder. So, um, in Roblox and then in versions, you actually needed to make a client settings folder right over here. And if you actually followed my video, you really just need to delete that client settings folder from both the versions. Like, you know, these cannot be over, you know, any of these version files. So, you need to delete the client settings thing. So, after that, um, open up your favorite browser and then hit the link in the description. 
so I have it on my favorites here it is so you know hit the link in the description it will take you to this media fire file if media fire is banned in your country just use a VPN extension to reach this place and then what you have to do is you basically need to click on this download folder over right here now the download should start automatically so you can see that the you know this has actually been downloaded so what you intend to do now is let's just you know close this and then let's actually open the zip file this is the thing that we just downloaded and once you're done you actually need to drag and drop this alt enter folder into your desktop so after that you can actually you know um, you can actually see what we have over here but what you basically need is this alt enter you know this folder right over here now if you actually press windows r and then actually go to that roblox directory file once again so you can basically see that i do not have the versions you know the client settings folder on any you know anywhere over here so um let's enter this file once again so what you need to do is you need to actually enter this fix file where you actually have these client settings so you can basically you know move this to these versions but the easier way to do this is you know you basically need to double click on this alt enter fix folder and once you do that um, everything just basically happens by itself so if you go to versions now you can actually see that you have the client settings folder over here and then again you actually have the client settings folder in here as well Yes, yeah, so you can see that you have this over here as well. So client settings on both of these. So what you basically need to do is you basically need to double click on this Windows batch file and it does the rest for you. Now let's just start Roblox again. So this time we're actually going to be going with 1000 hearts and we're going to be uncapping our FPS. So let's hop into Roblox. Okay, so remember that our FPS isn't capped. So, you know, so let's just deploy and then let's just get into one of these games so you can see that the you know it it's gone so you guys can see that you know the the you know the like the fix completely like you know it completely fixed itself like e and even if this does not work like even if you you know you can't get this what you can do is just alt enter and you know you can see that the alt enter actually works and you have no more lag so there you go <laughs> we just fixed this issue and yeah that's basically how you do it this is how you reduce input delay guys but the guy who made the client settings thing he said that every time roblox updates you actually need to you know you actually need to like um do everything again for example you need to delete both those client settings folder and then just run the windows batch file again so i don't think that will be much of an issue and you know what we're getting in return is amazing we completely eradicated we completely removed client settings so i see this as an absolute win so that was all for today's video guys make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you know if this video helped you and you know liking this video will actually like you know make this video reach a lot of other people so thank you so much for watching and I hope this helped. Goodbye.